This is my uh, battery backup system for, um, you know, if we have a hurricane and we lose power. Um, I, I live in an area of high hurricanes, and so we usually lose power for two or three days a year, and so I built this uh, battery backup box. Um, it is based on Jehu's design. Um, I will give Jehu credit. However, he did a 12-volt system, and after some testing, I switched to a 24-volt system. The problem with a 12-volt system is that a car 12-volt inverter falls right between a 3S system and a 4S system. And if you build a 3S battery, the 12-volt system won't use all the charge in that battery. And if you build a 4S battery, the 12-volt inverter won't use all the charge in that battery. Um, the reason is in a car inverter normally has a range from 10 to 15 volts. And a... Um, 3S battery will want to go all the way down to 9 volts and so the charger, the, the inverter will cut off before you run out of battery power. Same with a 4S. A 4S battery will get almost all the way to 17 volts fully charged but the car inverter will only work up to 15 volts and so um, it won't use all the energy in a fully charged battery. So I gave up on a 12 volt system and went to a 24 volt system. 24 volt car inverters have a range from 20 to 30 volts. Well, if you build a 7S battery, a 7S battery will range on the low end from 21 volts to a high of 29 volts, which is perfectly within the range of a 24 volt inverter of 20 to 30 volts. So this 24 volt system can use all the charge in the batteries without an issue. Um, let me show you what's inside. So this is just a strap to keep the battery in place, and here is the battery. Um, it is a 16P7S battery, and every single cell is individually fused. Um, it's probably overkill, but just to be safe, I've fused every individual cell. And then um, um, on the side here, we have a um, battery management system. It's a 7S battery management system, so it won't let the batteries get too low or too high, and it does balancing. I also have a secondary balance lead for when I use an external charger to balance and charge the battery pack. I use uh, XT60 connectors to connect everything up. So now that's plugged in. Um, the voltage first goes up to this. This is a shunt for this battery meter. This meter tells me what's going on with my battery and this shunt measures everything. So the battery voltage first runs into that. And then the voltage comes down and goes to the inverter itself. This is a 500 watt continuous 1000 watt peak um, sine, pure sine wave inverter. Um, I don't know if you can see on the side here. So the battery is currently at 28 volts and it's putting out 125 volts. Um, so this this inverter uh, powers the uh, power powers the um, 120 volt uh, plugs up on the the lid. Um, there they are. And I just use regular um, you know computer cables that I cut off the ends and wired into the outlets and then plug them in right here into the front of the inverter, so I didn't have to take the inverter apart. Um, then I also have this over here. Um, I want to power the USBs, and the, but the problem is the USB adapter over there is a car 12-volt USB um, adapter, um, but this is 24 volts. So this is a uh, 24 to 12-volt inverter. So I run the voltage into here, 24 volts goes in, 12 volts come out, the 12 volts goes into the USB, and this USB adapter takes 12 volts and turns it into the USB over here, and I have a dedicated power switch for the USB and you can see the USBs are powered up and so like we can charge our phones and whatever we want off the USB and I mean there's an as you can see we've got 120 cells over here each cell is a, almost equivalent to charging your cell phone once so we can charge a cell all our cell phones a hundred times if we had to um, off this battery pack assuming no no in, inefficiencies um, let me show you the front of the Uh, so here's the meter. It's saying that we have a 38 amp hour uh, 24 volt battery. The battery's at 100%. Uh, Runtime right now is 98 
um, hours. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, runtime, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, you might just be able to make it out. Um, anyways, uh, so I love this meter, really helpful for keeping track of things and tells you how many hours remaining at your current load and the state of the battery. Um, let's, uh, let me, oh, let me show you how I charge it. Um, Sorry about that, I had to refocus. So I picked up this uh, ISDT T8 uh, charger. Um, the nice thing is it can handle up to eight cells in series. Most chargers do six. Um, this does eight, which is perfect because this is a seven volt system. So um, let me disconnect the main power here. Turn off the inverter. Plug in the battery over here and plug in the balance lead, actually I'm gonna unplug this since it's all a bit, it's a bit short. Gotta remember which is your positive and your negatives, there you go. Um, let's see, can you see that? There you go, I guess you can see it if I hold it like that. Anyways, you can see the individual ba uh, voltage of every cell. Um, they're close to balance, not perfect, um, but this will do the full balancing. Um, uh, if I wanted to, I can, it's on lithium ion 7S and I can press charge and start. And there you go, it starts charging and balancing all the cells. Uh, you can see it's drawing a couple amps, uh, topping up the cells, but the cells are all basically full as is. Anyways, I really like this. Um, very nice charger, great for larger battery packs like this. Um, but the review isn't really about this, so let me disconnect this. Let's put this battery back in place. Uh, now I will show you some, um, this is a 500, uh, this is a 500 uh, watt inverter. This is a 500 watt inverter, but it's a um, 1000 watt peak. And I'll show you some footage of me running my bench grinder. My bench grinder hits almost 1000 watts on startup, and then it settles down at, a, at about 150 watts. And uh, this system has absolutely no problem at all. There's no real voltage sag. Um, it handles it just fine and so you can easily run a computer laptop whatever you need off this for you know a couple days easy um, And this system will handle it just fine Okay, so here's the battery meter you can get a better view of it here You can see it says the battery is 99% full 38 amp power 24 volt battery 96 hours of standby power and we're right now we're drawing uh, about a hundred milliamps 200 milliamps uh, down there in the bottom. I'm about to fire up the bench grinder and but watch the bottom right hand corner That'll hit almost a thousand watts of draw There we go 31 amps and nearly 900 watts of draw and the uh, inverter took it without a problem